What's up Drophenta, welcome to my platinum walkthrough for those who remain. You need 3 playthroughs to get the platinum. You can save about 20 minutes if you use the advantage of a backup save. The video shows you playthrough 1, the good ending, where we go through the game and save everyone. You can also use the video when you play through the game a second or a third time. The only difference is you have to choose the right decisions for each ending. Different choices doesn't unlock other ways or paths, so it's always the same except the ending. Here is a quick roadmap. Playthrough 1 is the video. We save everyone. Be sure to make a backup save when you reach Mark's house. When you completed playthrough 1, you can load your backup save for playthrough 2. On playthrough 2, we have to kill everyone. If you want to save another 15 minutes, make a backup save at the police station after you killed the sheriff. After completing playthrough 2, you can load up your backup save and you will start at the police station. In this playthrough we have to kill 4 people and save 3 people. I will do a light commentary on this walkthrough and I also will mention some important things for the other playthroughs. At the beginning of the game turn around and go up the stairs. Hold down the L2 button to run. When you reach the reception door turn left and check the door mate under the door 2. Pick up the key and open the door in front of you. Now enter the room and enter the bathroom. Now turn around and interact with the telephone. Now you can leave the room. Now follow the car, don't forget to hold down the L2 button to run. At this section turn left and interact with the generator. Now turn right and run straight ahead. Just keep following the road. Keep running straight and interact with the switch near the tractor. Now turn right and enter the barn. Open the drawer to your right and pick up the key. Now turn around and enter the house. Go straight and turn on the lights. To your right open the door with the key, turn on the lights, enter the room, turn right and remove the fuse box. Now pick up the fuse and go back to the barn. Turn on the lights, open the door and run to the barn. Run straight and interact with the generator. Now leave the barn and run into the fields. So the next section is very easy, you just have to interact with three items. The first item is in front of you. Interact with the picture. Now there's just one way. Follow the way and interact with the second picture. Now turn around and follow the path. Right. 
Follow the light. Near the tree you can find a soft toy. Pick up the soft toy and leave the area through the door. Keep going straight till you come to a gas station. To your left you can find a mailbox. Interact with the mailbox and pick up the key. Now turn around and interact with the car. Now turn around and go through the door with the light. So now remove this wooden pallet. Now turn around behind the car you can find a herbicide pump. So now interact with the car. Now you can leave the area through the door with the light. Now run to the car and open the door. Now turn on the car lights. Now run towards to the door. Open the door and turn the lights on. Now interact with the cable on the floor. Now leave the room and go around the house. Go through the door to your right. Slightly to your right, open the drawer and pick up the lighter. Now you can leave the room. Run back to the streets and follow the street. Oh, uh, hi. I thought you were one of them. Who are you? Are you alright? Okay, well, why? I can't just leave you here. Go, Edward. You will see me later. Run! Run! What the hell is going on? So now go left. Now remove the box from the basement window. Now go back and enter the diner. Go straight through the second door. Turn right and go downstairs. At the basement turn right, remove the box. Open the drawer and pick up the key. Now go back and all the way upstairs. At the roof turn left and interact with the spotlight. Now go all the way back to the streets.
Keep going straight. Now a new enemy will appear. Just don't go in front of the enemy and you will be safe. If the enemy detects you, you will die, but it's not a big deal. You will restart right here. Follow the street and to your left you will find a big garbage can. In the corner you find a cane that you need to pick up. Here it is, pick up the cane. Now interact with the ladder over you. Now run up the ladder and enter the second door. Keep going straight. Now turn right and keep going straight through the door. Enter the room and interact with the second picture. Now turn left, a secret door will appear. Read the document. Now turn around and leave the room. Go slightly right. And up the stairs. Now turn around and go left and straight forward. Now the enemy with the spotlight hat will appear, so be careful. Go straight and interact with the candle 1 and 3. This is the first one and candle number 3 is here. Now turn around and go downstairs. Be careful, the enemy is still walking around. Now turn right and interact with the switch. Now turn around and keep following the path. So now we're back upstairs, but we need to go downstairs again. Go to the room with the red door with the ladder on it. Now go all the way downstairs. Interact with the document on the table. Now leave through the door with the lights. So if you want to save 15 minutes on your second playthrough, it would be a good idea to make a backup save now. So you don't need to replay the previous sections. So go straight and enter the house. Turn left and go straight. Open the door, go through it, turn left and open this door. Turn on the lights. Now enter the room and remove the chairs. Now open the wardrobe and pick up the bolt cutter. Now go back where it came from. Now go straight and interact with the door with the chains on it. So before going downstairs, turn on the lights. Now go downstairs. Open the wardrobe and go through the lights. 
Now go upstairs and interact with the floor lamp. Turn right and go through the door. Go straight and right through the next door. So same again, go upstairs and right through the first door and through the second door. So in this room you can find the only non-store related trophy. Just interact with this poster and you get the trophy. So now turn left and open the drawer. Interact with the document. Turn around and follow the girl. Now turn on the lights and enter the toilet. After small cutscene you can leave the toilet. So now go upstairs again. Go through the door in front of you. Before you enter the room, turn the lights on. Now interact with the drawer beneath the TV. Interact with the document. Now turn around and go all the way back to the toilet. Seems a Marquis here was a sweet boy before his brother died. It was only after that he became a heartless bully who loved to see others in pain. So now we have to do our first decision. Keep in mind this playthrough is the good ending so we have to save everyone. To save someone you have to choose the green sphere. If you want to kill someone you have to choose the red sphere. In this case we have to choose the green one. Now leave the toilet and keep following the path. Run all the way to the end and interact with the door. Now turn around and run all the way to the other end and interact with the door again. Now turn around, interact with the door and go through the light. So now we are at the police station. Enter the police station. Maybe I can find help here. So now just keep going straight all the time. Keep following the path here. Keep going straight here, now slightly left, go through this door and interact with the police man. Now turn around and go back where he came from. Go outside and interact with the car. Open the door and turn on the car lights. Now interact with the middle valve. 
and to your right is another one. Interact with this one too. Now run all the way back to the policeman where we got the key. So here keep going straight and through the door. Now interact with the computer to your left. On the picture to your right you have to click on the red button and on the picture to your left you have to click on the green button. Now you can click on exit. Now go back to the entrance area. This time we have to go through this door. Be careful, click on the switch to turn on the police car lights. Now it's safe to go. So go straight, check the lockers to your left to find the key. Really? Again? Pick up the key and go all the way back to the policeman. So now turn left, go straight and to your right through the cell. Turn around and interact with the drawer. You will find another document. Interact with the document. Be careful in this area because there is the enemy with the spotlight head walking around. So now go through this door and to your left and go straight. Now left, in the fifth locker you can find another document. Interact with it and go back. Be careful and watch out for the enemy with the spotlight head. Now turn around, go back, be careful. After you go through the first door you have to take the first left. Straight through the door in front of you and the next door is to your right. Now right again and through the light. Now go back to the room where we found the key in the locker. So now we have to do the second decision. Dropped the investigation out of love and fear for his son, but Amica's dead. Doesn't her mother deserve justice? You decide. Should Jack Matthews be forgiven? Or pay for his crime? I guess he has to say it again. You must be the sheriff. When you're on your second playthrough, you have to kill him. After you killed him, make a backup save for your third playthrough. This will save you over 20 minutes. So now go back outside again. Talk to the man in the police car. Now interact with the two policemen on the ground. Now talk again with the man in the car. No, they don't have the key. But who are you? I'm no one. I'm trying to get out of here. You know what's happening in Dormont? I don't know. The cops brought me from New York. When we got here, everything went to shit. I might get out of the car for sure. But can you help me out or not? Come on, get the car key. If I find the key, will you let me go with you? <laughs> no way. You're not getting in this car. But, uh, I can help you out. Oh. Get me the key, 
and I'll use the headlights to clear a path for you. These cops seem to have been shot. Did you see what happened here? I don't know. I didn't see anything. Who cares anyway? They're dead, like the entire damn town. Come on! I need to get out of here. So now go back inside, go straight and to your left you will see some lockers. Pick up the car keys and the matches. In this playthrough we only need the car keys because we have to give him the keys to save him. On the second playthrough where you have to kill everyone you have to use the matches on the gasoline container. But you can still pick up both now. So go back outside and talk to the man again. Two police officers have been shot. They're blind dead on the ground. You want me to spell it out for you? Uh, you think you bring the keys? Only the matches. Looks like a gasoline canister. This is the gasoline container where we can use the matches, but don't do it in this playthrough. Just use the keys on the man. I found the key. Here you go. Now, do your part as agreed. Give me some light on that direction. Okay, get going. I want to get out of this place. So now go straight through the door. So this is the post office. First we have to enter the post office. So now go left and right and left through the door. Now left again. Now keep going straight through this door. Pick up the keys from the desk. Now leave this room. Keep going right to the end of the corridor, open the door and interact with the fuse box. Interact with the switch. Now go back to the room where we found the key. Now interact with the fire alarm switch. Now turn around and leave the room. Go right and enter the first door to your right. Turn right and open another wardrobe. Go through the lights. So now go back to the entrance area. Go straight to the end of this corridor and now go right through the door. In this room interact with the document on the table. Now try to leave the room. The car. Now keep going straight and interact with a radio on a table. Now wait a few seconds till we can interact with the second radio, which is right here. Now interact with this radio and go all the way back. You will come across another radio. Interact with this radio and now go through the door 13. Now go straight to the wall, turn around, go to the other side, 
turn around again and go through the door. Now just keep following the path. When he say you're running in circles, go through the door and now turn around and go this way. Now just keep following the path. So in this room you have to remove the pieces of wood. Now open the door. Now go back to the hallway where we found the key. But instead going into the room we have to go right to the toilet. Now left, open the toilet door and go through the light. So now we can leave the toilets, turn right, go straight ahead, now go left and go straight ahead. After the small cutscene go into the room to your right. Now go left, left again, now right, go straight and right. Now run towards to the bed and open the drawer. Interact with the document. There are three more documents you need to interact on the table. So now it's time for another decision. Of course we're choosing to save him. So no run outside. After the cutscene you have to turn around and run through the door in front of you.
So now we're back in another house. Turn around and turn on the lights near the stairs. Go up the stairs. Left. Now right. Go straight. And left through the first door. Now interact with the attic door. And now try to go back downstairs. I can't reach it. Not with my bare hands. The woman will appear. So now run back. And just keep interacting with the store with the document. So enter the room and just wait. So now it's safe, so leave the room and go downstairs. She gone. Enter the second door to your right. So this part can be a little bit annoying. You have to find six lion statues. There's also a big enemy walking around. The goal in this section is you have to find the statues and place it on the stone platforms. There are three stone platforms. There is a stone platform with one candle on it, another platform with two candles and another platform with three candles. So one candle means you have to place one statue. Two candles mean you have to place two statues. So to unlock the next area you have to pick up one lion statue and bring it to the stone platform. Keep in mind if you pick up a lion statue you can't run. And always look out for the big enemy. If you're new to this area it can take one or two tries.
So after placing all the statues, a secret fire path will open. Run to this path to find the attic is. Now turn around and run through the lights. So now go back upstairs to the attic. Open the attic and go upstairs. Now pick up the boxes from the floor and throw them to the boxes behind the shadow creature. If we have enough light the shadow creature will disappear. So now that should be enough. To your right there is another fuse box. Open it and interact with the switch. Now you can leave the attic. So now go straight and right and left through the door. Turn on the light. Now go through the second door. Be careful, turn on the light. Now go outside, go straight and open the door to your left. Now pick up the keys to your left. Now go all the way back downstairs. Use the key on the first door to your right. So now turn on the lights and go downstairs. Interact with the screen bowl. Now interact with the document. Now go back downstairs through the light. The next section is a little bit tricky. The world will change every few seconds. The best way to get through this is, right at the beginning start running forward. Always keep running till you come to a stone wall. At this point wait at the stone wall and now run left to the trash can. Wait here. Now start running forward. Turn right and wait. Now run straight forward to the fence. And now simply follow the path. Eventually you will reach this point. Now you are safe. Go left and pass the red car. In front of you you should see a food market. Enter the food market. The world will change a few times here but you can't die anymore. So open the door and turn on the lights. Now turn around and go through the other door. In this room there is a statue with a crank. Interact with the statue two times. Now open the wardrobe to your right and enter the lights. Now turn around and leave this room. Now go through this door and interact with the forklift to get a crank.
so pick up the crank and go back to the room with the lights. So now go back to the room with the forklift. Remove all the boxes from the table to your right. Now interact with the statue once. Now leave the room and go right. In front of you is another statue. Interact with the statue to put in the crank. Now interact with the statue three times. So this section is very straightforward. Just go through the doors. Now turn around and interact with the document on the table. Now turn around again and the new path will open. So now you have to run to the end of this corridor. You will get chased so better be fast. Enter the second door to your left. <laughs> so this section is very easy, just keep following the road. You will come across a few cutscenes. So now you're back at the start, just keep following the roads. Interact with the car and turn around and try to go back. Now keep running straight forward. Leave the area through this door.
Okay, now follow the road till you come to a fire department. Pass the police car and enter the fire department. Be careful, there are some shadow creatures. You need the right timing to get through this. Wait for the red light and then run towards to the door. Now go straight forward up the stairs. Enter the first room to your right. Before you entering the room turn on the lights. On the left side in a locker you can find a key. Pick up the key and go downstairs. Open the door to your right, turn on the lights, now turn left and remove the boxes to get through the door. So leave the room, go right downstairs. This section requires some timing, wait for the world to change. Now run towards to the first door. Now wait here. And now run towards to the next door. Open the locker and pick up the valve. Now leave the room and go back upstairs. Use the valve on the wall to your right. Now interact with both of them. Wait a few seconds till the fire disappear and then go upstairs. So where is this person? Enter the room on the right side. Do not forget to turn on the lights. Now open the drawer behind the desk and interact with the document. Now leave the room and to your right you can see a light. Go through it. Wow. In this section you have to what place barrels on symbols to activate switches or open new paths. So pick up the first barrel and drop it on this symbol. This will bring down the stone platform to your right. So here are another three barrels. So pick up the first barrel and bring it to the first symbol. Now get the second barrel and bring it to the second symbol. Now go back to the third barrel pick it up and go to the third symbol. Now turn around and go to the barrel in the middle. Pick it up and go back to the first symbol. Drop the barrel behind the first symbol on the second one. Now you have access to the next area. So on this section pick up a barrel and drop it to your left. Now pick up the second barrel and drop it in the other corner. Now you can press the switch. Now go straight forward and interact with the lever. Turn around and wait for the platform. Now go straight forward and stop at the symbol. Wait for the platform. Now go straight forward and stop at the symbol to reach the bottom area. 
Now go all the way to the right and stop at the shield with the number 1. Interact with this wooden shield to input the number 3. Now turn around and go to the second wooden shield. Input the number 6. Now turn around and go to the third one. Input the number 4. Now turn around and interact with the document. Now turn right and go straight forward. Now it's time for another decision. Chief can be forgiven for being a good man. He just made a mistake. Turn around and go through the door with the lights. So the next section is very easy, at the beginning just keep following the path, this takes a few minutes. So run towards the truck and remove the wooden pallet. Now interact with the generator, go straight forward to the light and pick up the pliers. Now turn around and open the door with the pliers. Now go straight forward and enter the house slightly to your right. 
do not forget to turn on the light. Enter the second room and pick up the key. Now leave the room. So turn right and go straight forward to the track door. Now turn left and enter the house in front of you. Turn on the lights. Now remove the boxes from the shelf to your right and pick up the replacement lamp. So now leave the room and go in the direction where the light comes from. Be careful, do not run into the shadows. In front of you there is another tractor. After the cutscene interact with the tractor to replace the lamp. This opens a new path. So go through the door and go straight forward. So after the cutscene we can save or kill him, but in this playthrough we have to save him. To kill him on your second playthrough simply interact with the switch in front of you. In this case we have to save him, so do not interact with the switch. So turn right and go straight forward to the fence. Pick up the barrel and throw it to the fence a few times. Now interact with the switch to your left. So now we save the man from the sawmill. Now turn around and go back. Now to your right you can see another path. Go through the door and this will end the chapter. So go straight forward until a cutscene starts. Behind you there is a woman in a postal truck. To save her we just have to open the door. On your second playthrough just simply go away and leave her alone. So simply click two times on the door to save her. Now turn around and go into the church. Go straight forward and enter the room to your left. Enter the first door to your right. So interact with the candles in the right order. This is the first one. The second one is to your left. Now turn around. Third one. And the last one. 
If done correctly, you will hear some bells. Now leave the room and go to the opposite side. Enter the first door to your left. Interact with the items in the right order. The first one is the boat, then the fishing rod. Now turn around and interact with the spade and now turn left and interact with the rake. Now turn around and leave the room. Go left. In this room you have to interact with the right pictures. This is the first one. The second picture is this one. And the third picture can be found here. It's uh, this one. Now go back to the church whore. Mother is coming. After the cutscene, you have to leave the church through the secret door behind the altar. Now follow the path. Now go downstairs and pick up a box from the table. Turn left. You have to drop down the box on the right stone platform on the ground. This is the first platform. Now pick up this box. This is the second platform we need. And now go back to the table and pick up a third box. And drop it down on this platform. Now turn around. Go back to the table. And interact with the switch. This opens another secret door. Now follow the path to the end. Turn around, go back and turn around again. Now follow the path to the end. Interact with the document to your right. This opens another path. So keep following the path. So be careful because now the world switches again. Your goal is to reach the door at the end. When the world switches, run to the second light. And stop right here. Now to the next light. Now this should be enough so you can just run straight to the end. So now slightly turn left and go through the door with the phone next to it. Now turn left and open the closet. Pick up the key and leave the room. Go straight forward and open the door to your left. Now go all the way to the end of this corridor. Now turn around and go to the other side. And now turn around again. This will open a new way. Now go straight forward. Now a woman will appear. Turn around and run back where he came from. Just stay here and wait till she disappear. So now go straight forward. Enter the door to your left. Go straight forward, left and straight forward to trigger a cutscene. Alone. 
So now go through this door and upstairs. Go through the door in front of you to trigger another cutscene. Now leave the room and go downstairs to the basement. Do not forget to turn on the lights here. So after the cutscene, turn around and go straight forward. Now turn left and try to open the doors to your left. They are all locked. However, this should bring the woman to spawn in front of you, which is very important. Sometimes the woman doesn't spawn in front of you, so you have to retry. If the woman appears, turn around and run all the way down where the light is blinking. Now interact with the door to your right. There will be one door which you can open now. Now go all the way up the stairs. Turn right and turn on the lights. Now enter the room to trigger another cutscene. So now leave the room and go straight forward. Through this door turn right and right again. Now turn left to trigger another cutscene. So now try to go back. If the door closes, turn around and go through this door. Go through the light. Now simply follow the path. So now we are back in the real world. Go left, go straight forward, turn left and straight forward to trigger another cutscene. So now you have to go upstairs again. So after the cutscene pick up the metal from the ground. 
and now interact with the gate to your right. Now turn the symbols to the right position to open the gate. Now go upstairs, turn right and interact with the box on the table. Now turn around, go straight forward and through the door to your left. Now go straight forward to the next door and try to open it. You can't. Turn around and open the closet to your left. Pick up the set. Now turn left and try to open the door. Now you can. Now go straight forward to the next door. Try to open it. You can't. Now turn around. Go straight forward to the other door. And try to open it. You can't. Turn around and go back to the other door. Now you should be able to open it. Now go straight forward through the next door. Through this door. Go straight forward and interact with the document. Now turn around and go straight forward through the next door. Now straight forward, interact with the radio to your left. Now turn right and go through the door. Now you will see some candles on the floor. You need to light the right candles. If done correctly, a mirror will appear. Pick it up and go back where it came from. Go through the door to your left. So now go straight forward. Now right through this door. Another cutscene will appear with the enemy with the spotlight head. Now turn around and hide behind this corner. Normally this spot is safe, but it's a small chance that the enemy comes this way. It's always random, but most of the time it works when you stay here. When you see the enemy, go to the corridor where the enemy came from. Go straight forward, now turn right for another cutscene. Now enter the door to your left. Turn on the lights, turn left and pick up the picture. This will trigger another cutscene. My fault. So now we're almost done. Interact with the items on the ground. Now interact with the book on the table. <coughs> now turn around and go straight forward to trigger another cutscene. Left 
Well done, this is the first ending of free. Leave the bathroom and go outside. So for your second playthrough you can load your backup save that you should have made at Mark's house. If you don't have made a backup save, simply start a new game. The fastest way to get the platinum is you load up your backup save that you made at Mark's house and kill all the people. But make a new backup save at the police station after you killed the sheriff. This will save you another 20 minutes. If you get stuck you can always use this walkthrough again. Because everything is the same except for the decisions. So guys I hope this walkthrough could help you to get the platinum. See you in my next one.